Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a, an easy hot wire foam cutter. Um, so, to start off I'll show you what we need. Two blocks of wood and preferably a workmate, a workbench. Jump leads and the battery that goes with them. And that's it. Alright, what I've done here is put the two pieces of wood in the workmate and just made a little groove right there, which I've wrapped the wire around as you can see here. And now, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but it's going between the two blocks. And I have two ends of wire sticking out. Make sure the wire is quite tight or taut. This is it fully set up. Uh, all I've done is attached the jump leads to the loose ends of wire and to the battery. I've got one disconnected now. Um, you want to make sure the wire is quite tight and when the wire heats up it uh, expands a bit so you might want to pull this backwards. Uh, in a simple setup like this you'll have to do that manually. Uh, you could make them longer and have a spring at the bottom but uh, I'm just uh, trying to show you the easiest way. So uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration. So I'll just switch it on. I'm going to tighten it up a bit. There we are. Now, this, this, there we go. We're all the way through. What I really like about this setup is that you can make it with stuff most people will have lying around, maybe not the wire. But uh, you know you can probably get your hands on a car battery and a set of jump leads, and it's just so easy and fun. It's a lot of fun. About the wires, a lot of people use uh, guitar wires and guitar strings for a wire and stuff like that. Uh, I haven't tried that, but I can imagine it works quite well. I just went to a, a random electronics store and bought or told them what I was going to do and they gave me this and it seems to work quite nicely. You can actually make very detailed shapes with this wire cutter. There we are. If you can think of it you can cut it. Make it maybe making puzzles. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, that's that. And then Back together and out again. Again, if you were making, uh, if you were trying to cut bigger pieces, then you might want a more advanced setup. But if you're making, if you're model making wings or anything for landscape you're making, this works so well. Uh, I'm just playing around now, but you can actually have very straight lines, you just use a template down the side but I love the freehand way and it, that's just so, it's just so smooth where you cut it off if I try once more, straight through there try not to touch the wire probably hurt a bit that's lovely smooth, closed very nice so if you want to make one, have a look around your house, thin wire, a couple of blocks of wood, 
car battery and some jump leads. That's it. Have fun. And uh, maybe don't do it inside. Smells 